What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm currently making videos about my take on the 42 exam library. If that kind of material floats your boat, hit the subscribe button down below. Write a program that takes two strings and checks whether it's possible to write the first string with characters from the second string while respecting the order in which these characters appear in the second string. Well, that was a long-winded requirement. If it's possible, the program displays the string followed by a new line, otherwise it simply displays a new line. Well, so we're printing a new line regardless. And then it says, of course our usual, if the number of arguments is not two, the program displays a new line. Well, okay. If that sounded confusing, let's check it out visually first. For this question, we're presented with two strings, string one and string two, which are passed as arguments. And the requirement is that we can print out S1 given string two while following the same order that the letters appear in string two. For example, if we're going through S2, we have an F and we have an F, and then we'll keep going through here until we get to the A. Now we have an A, now we have an A here. Now we're looking for a Y. There's the Y, and there's the Y there. Now we need to go through and find the A. And finally we get to the A in the end, and we've completed it in the same order that it was given, so this one can actually print out FIA. The method I've chosen to do this question is pointer notation. Since we'll be going through S1 to see what the next character will be, we need to have a way of remembering where the first address is so that if this does succeed, we can actually print it, which is why we're gonna use a placeholder for string one. To do this, we're gonna use two while loops. The first while loop is going to loop through as long as there's a value at TMP and S2. So we're gonna be looking at this, and we're gonna be looking at this. The second while loop will be inside the first while loop and will come into play as long as the characters are the same. For this one, it would be F, and this will keep looping through as long as the character at TMP and S1 are the same. For this first one, the while loop only hits once, but it will still iterate. So it would go to the next one, and this one would go to the next one. Then we're going back into while loop, and we're just gonna go as long as TMP and S2 actually exist. Okay, there's the next one. So now it would kick down into the second while loop as long as TMP is the same char as the one at S2. So again, this one only goes once, and then it will keep on going. Once we finally reach the end of this S2, we need to find out how we can do a check on TMP to see if we can actually print S1. If this succeeds, TMP will be resting down here where there's no more characters and it'll be at the null terminating value. So we can just check to see if TMP actually exists. If not TMP, then print S1. So let's go ahead and code this out. I hope that cleared things up a little bit for you. To get started, we're going to need a temporary pointer. So we just declare one. We're not going to initialize it until after we've satisfied this if AC equals, equals to three. Then we're going to take care of it. And then remember, in the end, if it doesn't do anything, regardless, we are going to print the new line. Now that we're finally in here, we can set TMP equal to AV1, because this is what we want to print out if it succeeds. So if we're iterating through this actual string, we're gonna lose the starting address and we won't be able to print it using AV1, which is why we assign a pointer pointing to it so we can use that for temporary iteration. Now for the while loop, we need to say while a value at TMP and a value, sorry, a value at AV2. Now the second while loop is going to jump through as long as we have the same characters equal to each other. For example, if we had this FAFA, -FA, which is the same in both, we would hit the second while loop twice. Just think back to what we saw in the, in the visual. But we also need to include in this one the existence of these two strings. The while TMP equals AV2 and TMP and AV2, just like that. As long as this is being satisfied, we simply want to iterate through TMP and AV2. Just like that. Now back out here, we need to make sure that we're still continuing through AV2. So we're just gonna go AV2, plus plus. Since both of these while loops now are finished, we need to have our check to see whether or not we can print the first string. And the way to do that is if we've gone through this one to the point where we're, we've gone through this character, this one, this one, and this one, 
there's the null terminator at, he, at this point. So we just have to check to see if not TMP, then we can print it. Because that says that as we've gone through all these characters, we've also completely gone through this one, which satisfies the requirements of the question. If not evaluate TMP, we're going to FT put string, and we're going to send in AV1. So now we just go up here, and done. Now let's test it out. <laughs> Never ending. Okay, let's take our first argument here. This should actually print fire. Don't know why I scrolled down there. And it has. This one should not. Okay. How about this one? That prints it out. And this one. That's how I've done word match. The hardest part was getting my mind around this internal and external while loop. But once you have that, once you see it visually, you can piece together how you should write the program. Before I let you go, here's two great videos that might interest you. If you like the content, Consider subscribing, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.